a very good morning to all of you. I wholeheartedly welcome you all on behalf of the Institutions Innovation Cell 4.0 of MCM DAV College for Women to a webinar on identifying intellectual property at the early stage of innovation. We are privileged to have with us Mr. Vineet Sharma, Senior Vice President, TT Consultants Private Limited, as a resource person. MCM Davy College for Women, an institution that has been the portal for quality education right from its inception in 1968 in the memory of Justice Meher Chand Mahajan. It is for the value-based instruction strategy offered here that MCM has been re-accredited with an A grade from NAC and has also been ranked as one of the topmost colleges of the region for the last three consecutive years by reputed national periodicals like India Today and The Week. Meher Chand Mahajan is the only college in the region to get the Star Status Award from the Government of India, which has helped the college towards giant progressive leaps in the field of science. On behalf of the MCM family, I take this opportunity to welcome our resource person, Mr. Vineet Sharma, Senior Vice President, TT Consultants Private Limited. Mr. Vineet is a biotechnology engineer and holds a postgraduate diploma in patent law from Nalsar, Hyderabad. He has been associated with TT Consultants for the last 14 years and is a prominent member of the leadership team. He has a diverse experience in IP management and preparing intellectual property strategies. His primary practice area is patent prosecution, including patent drafting and filing in India and US. He regularly files PCT applications, preparing office action responses, and advises various startups and individual inventors in developing strong IP portfolios and also advises on strategic patent prosecution and other intellectual property strategies. He is also a registered and a qualified patent agent licensed to practice in India. Sir, we are honored by your presence at this webinar. All the students to kindly turn on their cameras for a group picture. All the students as well as the teachers are kindly requested to turn on their cameras. Girls, all of you switch on your cameras, please. All right, thank you everyone. Now I request you, Mr. Vineet Sharma, to kindly commence the session. Thank you for a kind introduction, uh, Dr. Japni. And thank you, MCM DAV College, for inviting me and giving this opportunity to uh, interact with all of you and express my views, share some knowledge that I have regard with respect to the intellectual property rights. Uh, I hope uh, I am uh, audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're audible. Okay. Okay. So I just share my screen. Uh, I hope my screen is visible. Now it is visible, sir. Yes. OK, OK. So I just, uh, before commencing, I want to know how many of you have heard the term intellectual property? Has anybody learned about trademarks, patents, or heard something about that? Come on, students. You all are commerce students. So at least you must have heard of this term. Raise your hands in the chat itself so that sir gets to know. So we like to keep this session a little interactive one. Uh, 
since the topic belongs to the legal side of the things so we want to keep it a little interactive so so that you can have some kind of a knowledge on this intellectual property topic so i want to know if have you ever heard term intellectual property okay so i'll, I'll just tell you the brief about it so uh, all of us own or our parents own some kind of a property in, in form of house or a car or our personal belongings like gold so all these kind of properties we can touch with our hand intellectual property is something the creation of your mind wherein you create some something out of your idea out of your mind out of your thinking like that so whatever you create of your own becomes an intangible asset can also be protected uh, by law and can as is called as an intellectual property so there are many different forms of that uh okay i'll give you a very good example start with uh, start with the, this example okay okay i hope everybody has seen this character guthi kapil sharma show students kindly respond by raising your hand or maybe you type something in the chat box okay so earlier this show used to be on colors tv and the, this character guthi played by uh, by our uh, friend in chandigarh so when the show uh, uh, stopped in the colors tv and it moved towards the the sony tv then the character changed to the mashhoor gulati i hope everybody can uh, relate to this character and everybody has seen uh, performing him sunil grover on in in both these characters so do you uh, have you ever think ki why uh, why the characters needs to be changed when the show moved towards the other channel from colors to sony tv have you ever think of that so the reason behind is this show uh, when it runs by colors uh, and the character is guthi the copyright of this show and this character which is created by the colors channel belongs to them only so whenever uh, when the that character on the show moves towards the other channel to the sony tv then they needs to change everything so you may have noticed that they have changed everything related to the show just the main characters remain like the kapil sharma or whoever the the supporting art, artist have there but the characters they used to play in the colors channel are different and the characters they used to play in the sony channel is pretty different from each other so you can understand why uh, there is a cop copyright issue in that if they have copied the same characters or carry forward the same characters to the sony channel then they have to pay a huge money to the uh, the earlier channel and further they may they may have, have some res restriction regarding which things to play which things not to play so this is the power of the intellectual property this is a very very classic in a simple example wherein you create something that comes under the copyright we'll talk about later about different forms of intellectual property that we have so this this is a very very good example another example is uh, uh most of you has bought iphone 2 and you you are in love with iphone or some expensive phones which uh which might cost you a uh, 70000 80000 90000 like right? and uh many of us like me also carry a phone of 20000 30000 so have you ever think why apple or some uh, some uh, some other company uh, used to brand their phone uh, in a different category in a higher price brand that is due to the intellectual property or the brand value that associated with a particular brand App, like apple started with with uh, bringing some expensive phones in the market then it got hits other companies also comes into the market so that's the power of intellectual property another example wherein 
uh, if you have an intellectual property with you you have a brand value with you then you can place your products in the market to the the higher value to the higher expensive range right i'll give you another example so this is an example of a restaurant wherein uh, they thought the the customers are they generally come to this restaurant they are very busy so they have very less time to eat their lunch and just go away they just like to have the lunch in 10 minutes and just go away to the, to their workplaces so the this uh, restaurant came up with the idea to have a, a fan attached to their uh, chopstick so that it can cool down the temperature of the the food here so it's a very small example but it give you a competitive edge in the market so due to this small invention uh, this is this this invention is from the from the japan so due to this invention uh, their business increases to many folds so that's a very uh, example of a very small invention wherein a small idea can get, give you a business a great uh, uh, a, a great boost i would say right so these are small case studies which relates directly to the intellectual property which give you specific edge in the market give you more money you can be more competitive you can place your uh, products in the higher uh, price brand you can earn more just due to the fact that you have intellectual property with you right okay so what is the importance of intellectual property if you have an intellectual property with you in any form generally when you go for the investor many of many of you may may thought of starting a company a startup business or any kind of a business when you think that uh, you don't have enough money to carry out then you go to go to the investors for investment opportunities so generally one of the questions that the investor ask from you is whether you carry any intellectual property to have filed any intellectual property for your uh, ideas or your business or anything related to that then if we, if the answer is yes then uh, there is a good chance that you will get a good investment or uh, or with with respect to having no intellectual property you get a good good investment or good money out of the investor then second is it gives you exclusive visibility in the market filing an intellectual property give you a specific right for a specific time period so you have exclusive rights in the market to commercialize to gain your competitive edge you can think of any examples uh, regarding this uh some big companies come up their product and uh, they enjoy the exclusive market range iphone comes uh, when when there was no touch phones in the market then iphone comes around 2000 in in way back in 2007 then suddenly you see that uh, there is a wave of touch screen phones in the market i generally take the example of these uh, the general commodity products because they are very well known to everybody everybody can relate to that so the iphone came came up in the market in 2007 or maybe 2006 so they they have enjoyed the exclusive advantage of commercializing their product for 3 4 years then suddenly there is a wave come then then the price starts getting decreased and uh, there were a lot of uh, companies start getting they're putting their product in the market related to the the phones the touch phones so why there was some exclusive period for apple because they have filed many patents way back in 1995 or 1994 i'll give you another example uh the tata sky boxes and these uh, dish tvs and all these boxes they get very relevant in our market in 2013 but when i started my work uh, my journey in this intellectual property uh, then uh, i used to read many patents about those those inventions then i thought what is this invention is about then suddenly i found that in 2008 or 9 they were very prevalent in the other markets the western markets the us and the european markets 
then suddenly in five years time uh, six years times we we suddenly have this these all boxes uh, set of boxes in our market too so uh, the the patent that i just talked about uh, i i have read about that in 2007 in my early career that was of uh, that was filed in 1998 so the idea was generated in 1998 and it borne fruits in 2007 2008 so that's that's the power of intellectual property again and that's advantage and the reason why you file intellectual property then you can go uh, to globalize your invention if you have an intellectual property behind your ideas your product your service uh, so suppose you you don't have any 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 resources to put that product in specific market like us or Europe, but still you want to go to a country like Japan also. If you file an intellectual property in Japan, then you have a good chance that you can still globalize your product without having the proper resources. You can just license your uh, whatever idea, whatever product you have. You can give the licensing rights, other parties can manufacture it and start selling in uh, that particular jurisdiction. Still, you will get advantages of that. Uh, you will get some some money out of that, some revenue out of that, without actually going to that particular market. So you can globalize your ideas if you have a intellectual property behind. If you have a file intellectual property uh, with your idea, you can have good partnerships. Uh, you can you you can use intellectual property as a as a license or give give particular license rights to any partner any anybody you want like you sell a house or you give give it the house on rent also so similarly intellectual property as a tool can be used uh, to to on a rent purposes which we call as license or can be sold as a property directly transferring the rights to the other party uh, protecting ownership protecting ownership means it give you peace of mind Suppose you are working in a company or you are owning a company, you are doing a startup, you're starting up your own company, your own business, and you're working with two of the employees. Then suddenly one employee is run away, run away with that idea. So you, you might think, oh, my idea is gone. Then the idea will be into the market very soon. I will lose all my novelty factors, all my US keys with related to with that product. So if you filed an intellectual property you have a legal protection to your idea so if these kind of scenarios happen when somebody leaves you somebody leaves your company or you, you yourself working as an employee in a company and you develop something and you want ki main to idea leke bhag jata hu mujhe koi nahi pakad payega but if the intellectual property is filed on an idea then you cannot do that, that kind of thing so Filing an intellectual property give you a legal recognition to your ideas. Then employee-employer relationship. Like just I just talked about, it give you a peace of mind. In terms of employer also, uh, employer generally thinks, I have seen in my career a uh, lot of these queries where in employer, the, the company uh, heads come to us, the CEOs and directors, they say, Ki wo to chhod ke chala gaya, ab hum kya kare? We haven't signed any contract. We haven't filed any intellectual property. So, so generally we say that please file your intellectual property first. Please have your good uh, contracts with you so that if somebody uh, do the wrong things, then you still have some kind of a protection. With you. Okay. So another question comes is, is IP profitable? I give you some examples uh, like Apple why they premium their products uh why their products carry premium with them so i'll give you one another some of the examples from this slide also so do you think uh what what is the cost of a coca-cola bottle ge that generally sells in a market of maybe 10 rupees 11 rupees 12 rupees 15 rupees so the cost of production to coca-cola uh for producing that uh, 15 rupee 10 rupee drink is just 10 pesa maybe 15 pesa but they market that product they sell that product at rupees 10 15 
why that because they have a huge brand value with them they can market that product to maybe 20 rupees also so you see the margin margin of coca cola that they are getting so the value of just their name coca cola agar coca cola ko kisi aur product ke upar laga diya jaye name ko then uski value automatically increases in ipr's ki field mein right general suppose uh, i give you a very good classic example uh, of this brand rivalry many of have uh, have you seen uh, maybe on the youtube videos brand rivalry between coca cola and pepsi they are the fierce competitor i would say so coca cola pepsi ne kya kiya they bring up bring about their jaise dew milti hai dew is the coca cola product so उन्होंने एक प्रोडक्ट मार्केट में डाल दिया एंड इट इट गेट इन द यूएस मार्केट सो दे गेट ह्यूज रिस्पांस इट वाज अ इंस्टेंट हिट देन कोको कोला थिंक्स माय बिजनेस इज जस्ट डिपिंग डाउन व्हाट आई व्हाट आई डू कोका कोला ने बहुत बेकार सा एक प्रोडक्ट लेके आया मार्केट में जस्ट उसके कंपैरिजन में बहुत बहुत ही टेस्ट उसका इट वाज जस्ट टेस्टलेस एंड एंड दे डोंट लाइक दैट बट दैट वाज देयर स्ट्रेटजी उन्होंने मार्केट में प्रोडक्ट डाला वो and suddenly they have seen that ki pepsi ki jo uh, uh, sales thi wo that also gets down due to that product because somebody we in our mind we think that we will pick up that coca cola product or will pick up that product for a particular company so we generally relates with that our mind ki ye product iska is company ka hai to ye acha hoga or it it may have some specific properties attached to that we generally thinks when you when we go to buy some things or we have some good uh, good relatability or a memory of a particular company ki ye aisa hi feature leke aati hai we expect that something from that brand so coca cola is one brand which people generally expect they they produce some good uh, soft drinks in the market so their brand name itself carries a huge uh, 50 billion uh, this may be some uh, this may be based on some reports another example is uh, nike many of us buy nike shoes and we like their their products and we think that they are they have one of the good products in the market question aise bata de but uh, um, have you ever know that nike does not have their manufacturing facilities what they do they just buy uh the shoes or whatever footwear they are selling from any de. brands Message or any man, local manufacturers and they put their stamp on to that and uh, they buy a shoe from a local vendor for rupees let's say 500 and they sell that product in the market nahi nahi wo theko hi bataya maine 5000 rupees so that's some kind of a margin because they have a huge brand with them the nike brand and we relate to that whenever we see that uh, uh, that sign uh, uh, the nike logo we generally relate ki acha product hoga we we can buy that we will be satisfied with that product so that's the that's again uh, you can have huge profits from if you have an ip behind it uh us and canadian universities uh there we we heard that there is a lot of research in us and canada but not much research happening in indian side one reason is uh our our government our institution does not put too much influence on the r&d side now the things are starting to change but in the us and canada there is a huge trend wherein students they they, they go for research and they generate something they they build on their ideas they do r&d day and day out and whatever r&d they do they have an intellectual property filed with them and they sell that to the the various companies the innovations that we see in our market today may be generated by the students from the us universities and the universities or anywhere in the world so so that's a great advantage of our doing an r&d at the institution and getting the royalties out of that in india some of the iits do that csir do that and uh, they build inventions they do lot of r and d and then sell that products in the uh, to the directly to the, the company 
they get uh, the value from that uh you may have heard that uh, google has acquired motorola bas bahut hai do motorola does not have anything and uh 10 years back we used to have motorola phones in the market bade acche music phones hote the but suddenly uh wo market se chale gaye then but uh google buy motorola in 2014 or 15 and suddenly the question comes in many of us mind like why the google is investing in the in the company that is on the uh, the extension path so why they we are there investing huge on on buying motorola company like motorola so we find out and when we researched on it we do some uh, background study we find out that motorola owns very good patents they have filed very good patents uh, for phones or their softwares or like that and the value of their patents are huge and google was just buying their patents as a property and they are just owning that they are not buying that company they were just buying that motor you can uh, after this session you can go to google and research about that and how much google has paid to buy motor they have just bought their patent nothing else so that's that's the profitability that motorola have even they don't have any product in the market still they generated huge huge money huge profit from from that deal ha to right so ip can be profitable in many ways now coming to the the different types of intellect thank you sir obviously i hope any questions till now the insights on intellectual property provided by you will definitely ha na bas itna kar le ha and any questions till now should i move ahead at least say yes or no okay yeah mai samjhu kuch bhi samajh nahi aa raha hai Text okay. Text. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. Now moving ahead, uh, the different type of intellectual properties. Generally, we categorize intellectual property in two broad categories. One is the technical inventions. Second one is the names or any creations that we consider as trademark and copyrights. so the technical form of invention like patents patents are something uh, when you have uh, when you invent some product some service some uh, some improvement or improvement in a competitor product you are solving a problem through technical means so those type of intellectual properties can be qualified as patents or industrial designs if you have a particular name attached to your business you have a particular logo then it is qualified as a trademark if you create if you have an expression of uh, something some creation like you do a painting also you do some music work that comes under the the copyright then there are geographical indication and other related rights geographical indications are generally which are associated uh which are associated with a specific property of the land like in the basmati basmati rice or the darjeeling tea so we generally say that darjeeling tea are good so they have a geographical indication for that uh, because they have their uh, uh, their soil have a specific property in that region darjeeling region so they get uh, a specific flavor in their tea which which gives them a unique appeal to the consumers now coming to the details of uh, the different type of intellectual property
so patents are set of exclusive rights granted by the government in lieu of your complete disclosures so you have to in order to get a patent on any new invention new idea new product new service you have to disclose your invention fully to the government and in lieu of that you have certain rights that certain rights include right to exclude others from sale sale manufacturing right to manufacture or right to right to export right to offer to sell so all these exclusivity rights you will enjoy when you file a patent uh, when you get a grant of the patent you have a fixed period of 20 years from the date of filing of your invention to the government so there are some conditions this is how the a patent looks like you, you provided all the details of a patent and you get a beautiful certificate from from government uh, uh there are there are two or three conditions to get a patent one is the it should be novel uh the idea should not have been in the publication form anywhere in the world before filing your idea to the book so that comes under the the novelty part anywhere in the world is the important term here it should not be ki india mein ho chuka hai india mein kisi ne nahi kiya bahar kisi ne kiya hua hai japan mein kiya china mein kiya it's not like that it has to be novel anywhere in the world. if that if you satisfy that condition only then you are eligible to get a patent the second one is the invent uh if you are solving up some problem if you are adding something to that uh previous problems or you find something not good with the previous product and you add something to that so that gen generally comes under the advancement to the existing knowledge or existing product so the patent has to uh get that criteria right also it should not be ki ye to bahut easy tha it's very obvious to add something to the that product or usne chota sa change kiya and they Uh, they should not get patent so it should not be very obvious to a person uh, the done the novel idea or whatever uh, invention you have created it should not be very uh, obvious this is a very subjective kind of a case it can be discussed on a case to case basis whether it falls under this one now what is a patentable subject what can be patented any new machine new process new manufacture composition of matter or improvement in existing technologies so and and don't to forget like any bells and whistles relates to your product any usp anything that give you a competitive edge in the market can be called as a patentable subject so you you can get a patent on anything like in my first case study if you remember that chopstick example fan already exist in the market chopstick already there in the market so somebody uh, what has done by that restaurant they have just added a small fan to the chopstick so everything was there but they have some improvement in the existing uh, knowledge so they, this can be qualified as a good example of what is a patent issue so don't think ki mera idea is very small i cannot get patent on that or i cannot get something out of that idea may be small or big but you can get a huge huge out huge money huge uh, recognition or whatever your intentions are you can get anything if you have a if you have filed a patent right then there are some exceptions uh to to the products or to the services or any invention which are not patentable any invention which says that i am any machine which which uh, claims that it is giving 100% efficiency so all of us knows that 100% efficiency is not possible energy is transmitted from one from to other so 100% achieving 100% efficiency is impossible so if if there are some invention relates to that that claiming 100% efficiency that are contrary to the well established law newton says apple upar se leke niche aayega but somebody says ki mary invention is apple niche se upar jayega which is contrary to the natural law so these kind of inventions are not 
पेटेंटेबल एब्सट्रैक्ट आइडियाज आपने सिर्फ एब्सट्रैक्ट फॉर्म में अपना आइडिया बना लिया देर इज नो साइंटिफिक बैकिंग टू दैट देर इज नो टेक्निकल बैकिंग टू दैट वाई दिस दिस थिंग इज हैपनिंग वाई वाई दैट इज हैपनिंग सो इफ इफ दी आंसर टू दैट इज नो देन इट कम्स अंडर दी एबसेट वी हैव टू सी फ्राम केस टू केस बेस discovery of any living thing you you discover any any microorganisms in the in the environment and you say that you want to patent that so that's not possible that's not allowed it so then there there may be some inventions which are which are threat to the security of our nation so those are also not uh, patented you will not get exclusive rights on those inventions then the literary artistic work dramatic work musical works all these kind of works comes under the the copyright category they are not protected in the patent they are protected in the copyright any mathematical formula business business formula method of agriculture or method of uh, 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 doing a procedure a uh, diagnostic procedure something like surgical procedure just imagine if a doctor claims ki maine koi heart surgery kari hai and that is through a specific process can we allow as a nation or uh, as a country to to give protection to that doctor ki jo bhi jo bhi is tarike se uh, particular procedure follow karke koi uh, surgery karega uh, that that is my 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 invention my my baby i cannot give rights to somebody others so if you stop these kind of inventions if you allow these kind of inventions then there will be a huge burden on our uh, medical services so so the government does not allow these kind of inventions uh i would like to skip this because this is way way technical the internationalizing patent i'll just give you the idea uh you can give you can take your idea Uh, to the other markets by having a patent uh, if you file a patent in india uh, then j- just remember any ip any form of ip whether trademark patent copyright it is jurisdiction based if you file that ip in india you will get protection only in india if you want to, to get it protected in some other countries japan china us europe you have to go to that particular country and get it registered there so there are some specific time periods for that in case of a patent the time period for filing that particular patent or invention is 12 months from the filing in india if you have filed your patent first in india similarly uh, for foreign inventors foreign companies if they have filed that invention in their country and they have 12 months to come to india and file protect their invention here so there is a 12 months in case of a patent uh, there is a 12 months period in case of a trademark there are different periods we'll talk later so uh, the, this these are some of the 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 lost opportunities in the market like i just talked about ki kisi ne socha mera idea bahut small hai i should not get it protected but this this is a very good examples ki small ideas can be big enough uh, many of us played with this fidget spinner it got patented way back in 2001 but the inventor thought ki ye chalega nahi idea this is not working out i cannot get uh, fee paid maintenance fee uh, there is there is a some maintenance fee that you have to pay to the government in order to uh, act, active uh, get get a patent active in the in the domain so uh, he thought ki nahi chalne wala ye i should not pay the the maintenance fee so so uh, he stopped paying maintenance fee and hit his patent got abandoned and suddenly uh, the market for this fidget spinner picks up and uh, you say that that's a huge huge hit uh, in in the children kids then they are playing with this uh, this model patent rather wide then the magnetic stripe on payment cards now we see the huge uh, inclination towards 
payment payment through electronic method so the the payment through credit cards or debit card generally we do that when we go for shopping or uh, fueling our vehicles so the magnetic stripe on the on the credit cards give you the give the unique identity to that card that never get patented just suppose if the inventor has filed the patent for that magnetic strip and imagine just how much he he would have earned now now match sticks never got patented file in iki inventor and he lost out of one uh, the billion of dollars of profit the ball point pen uh, all although uh the inventor filed the patent for that and it sold for just 2 million 2 million is nothing in this age so just imagine uh, if uh, the inventor thought ki a bahut bada product ho jayega if he had got the big deal then imagine how much royalty he must have earned by just selling the image so don't think my invention is small my invention is big always talk to somebody uh somebody senior to your teachers also like i have some invention i have done something where should i go should i protect it what should i do with my mid my creation creation cannot be an idea it can be a painting also it can be uh, the, the copyright the music works also so you, you can earn huge money the second form of intellectual property are designs uh this is very similar to the patents in patents we have to give our complete disclosure to the government in case of designs we don't have to give any disclosure but we have to give all the pictures designs covers the aesthetic look of the product i'll give you example this one. so uh, i hope my cursor is uh, visible so uh the aesthetic look of this uh the opening mechanism of the can it can get design patent over a look right it can be design patent so uh design gives you the protection for the look not how the uh not not on the uh the working of the image right it just give you the uh, rights on the look you will get the design patent in 6 months if if you think that something is good uh, which have a unique appeal to that unique aesthetic look to that then you can uh, go for filing of a industrial design so do you think that this idea can be patented you may have seen this in posters a pant is used to divert the air to two so definitely the answer is yes the idea can be patentable it's a very small kind of an invention but an idea is an idea it can have great worth uh, de- depending on uh, your intentions where you want intend to use it it depends on that. so there is another case study whether i go for design or patent suppose uh, uh, the example i took the the opening mechanism of the the can so both of the intellectual property is protectable in this uh, uh, through for this product patent patent for opening mechanism the method that we define ki aise karo waise karo waise khul jayega wo that can be a manufacturing patent also or manufacturing process patent also or opening mechanism patent also so both of the patents are available for design also ki overall look ke upar hum usko file kar sakte hain then the dual sim mobiles that's a very uh, prevalent in the market so both the patents as well as designs are applicable to this product for uh, uh, this coffee cup uh, this company has uh, uh, used or added a sleeve i would say on the outer side of the cup just to protect from the uh, the heat heat of the coffee or the uh, the beverage inside the cup so uh, they have filed a patent as well as they have applied a design for that so both of the fo- both forms of the technical uh, 
form of the IP is possible uh, in, in some kind of specific products. So you have to assess uh, which form is applicable to your product or both forms are. Then the third form is trademark. Aap kahi bhi bhi jate ho, uh, let's so let's you go for a food center. You recognize this sign McDonald's. So you you immediately uh, the thing comes to your mind is ki iska na burger acha hoga. You should go for burger. McDonald's relates to burger. Similarly, KFC ka agar aap wo sign dekhte hain, then you suddenly make your mind ki ye KFC hai. You identify. You relate uh, the products of that company with that sign, right? Or you have a certain brand image in your mind with respect to the particular sign on the. Like I gave you the example of Nike also with their sign. So you you relate to that product. That's a brand image. We call it as a trademark. So any anything, any word, any letter, numeral, shape. Or uh, any sign or combination of these, any particular color that you are using, that give you a unique identity, can come uh, come under the protection of trade. You can apply trade trademark. I'll give you some examples. What can be trademarked? Uh, letters, numerals, and words. Apple, IBM, 3M, Netscape. All these are just words. This can be trademarked. Logos, McDonald's logo, Apple logo, then the picture, MSN, then this uh, beer logo. All these specific logo that gives you unique identity to your products, your company can be uh, patentable. Then the combination of words and logo. You have a word and you make a logo out of that. Uh, in the automobile sector, we we see that the Ford logo. Code is also written. They have a logo also. Maruti has S Maruti Suzuki. They have only the the logo with that. So that's the combination of words can also be trademark. Like Harley Davidson, company ka naam bhi aa gaya and their logo also. Okay. Then there are very good case studies. Just uh, jab apne travel kiya hoga, you must have find out these water bottles. आपने कभी भी उस पर इतना ध्यान नहीं दिया होगा कि जिस पर बिस्लेरी लिखा है या कोई और वर्ड लिखा है द पैकेजिंग मे बी सेम लाइक इन दिस फेविक विथ एग्जाम्पल राइट पैकेजिंग इज सेम बट द स्लाइड डिफरेंस इज हेयर इज फेविक क्विक एंड हेयर इज फेवी क्विक हील राइट बट यू मिस्टेकनली हैव बॉट Quick heal instead of heavy quick. So, just whenever next you come go to the market to buy some product, something just uh, put your attention to the the name, the logo, whatever is there on the the product also. Uh, mistakenly, we have bought Bisleri water, uh, the other other companies water in the market. Bisleri ka to I have seen Bisleri, Bilseri. Uh, there is lot of uh, iterations are available in the market so so just be uh, very attentive when you buy some products in the market and some companies try to fool us by having the same brand logo because we have in our mind some some image of that particular brand so something like this one h&m uh, we go to the h&m store to buy products apparels then uh, suddenly hm brands so these two are different but they they are just fooling the uh, the public because their brand names are different right again the the starbucks coffee this is the starbucks uh, uh, logo and they have the starbucks bucks coffee so be attentive and if you have filed some trademark for your uh, ad brand identity for a product or Uh, service your company, then you should also look out for these kind of people who use your name, but they are different. They they are just uh, uh, eating eating your sales. Uh, you uh, you are damaging your competitiveness in market or damaging your brand also. 
trademark filing is a very simple process uh, before filing any trademark just do a brief search to find out whether that name is available or somebody already has filed a trademark or get get that protected so just find out before filing a the trademark it get examined uh, the the examiner will check whether the similar name exists in the market or not then uh, it get published and you get the registration normally you get a trademark in 6 months copyright then the last form of intellectual property is copyright copyright is something uh, that comes out of your creations your authors if you write something that will become your copyright if you have some music uh you prepare a music you uh, do some artistic work you do some literary work cinematic graphic work you do a play that all these comes under the the copyright because they don't have any technical uh, uh i would say uh, the technical know how behind them so all these kind of a creation comes under the protection of copyright Uh, so that's a what is the nature of the copyright generally uh, it applies to the original work of the author or the uh, the creator uh, if you have written something acha aapne ek example suna hoga when the the three idiots released in 2007 or 8 uh, there was a uh, the conflict between the makers and the uh, and the and the novel uh, so the conflict was related to the the copyright issues uh the author wants uh wants to have credit although he has been paid money for uh, giving the rights of or using that rights uh to the film to the film uh but but still he wants something out of that maybe a controversy or something like that so that's a copyright issue uh right so uh any phone any any kind of original work comes under the the copyright is it important to apply for a copyright uh, the answer to that question is no but generally you don't have to apply for copyright it is a inherent right whenever you create something aapne koi music banaya hai that is your right if somebody is using that right using that music then you can claim royalties on so copyright is an inherent right but if you have to fight with this infringers you you have to prove something that you already own that right you have created that right so for that legal recognition you have to file in the copyright office a copyright office mein jaiye usko file kijiye you you get a proof you get a documentary proof aapko mil jayega paper mil jayega aapko and uh, whenever you have to show that to the authorities you can show that paper to them like you have the the protection of the copyright so it it is easier to get recognized and and uh, uh br- bringing an infringement actions you can bring the infringement actions because police ke paas jao ya court ke paas jao they want a proof so if you don't have the proof or aapko bahut time lagne wala hai usko prove karne ke liye then it will be a hassle so in order to avoid that you can file a copyright and get that proof and uh, go to it and challenge that in court there are certain exam exemptions uh, to the copyright work uh, like uh, your teachers are uh, giving you lecture on some topic then uh, let's say they are they are teaching you the method of forming nimbu pine if somebody has already applied for a patent do you think that that is an infringement to that person who has applied for the patent so uh, this is one of the exceptions if somebody has applied a copyright and or a trademark or something or or a patent then the purpose of research or uh, private study or giving lectures on that for the study purposes that that does not comes under the the infringement you are not infringing if you are teaching something to you 
uh, to the students or using it just for the studying purpose purposes or using for the research purposes if uh, if if the uh, if the research is uh, not allowed then 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 we think that ki new how the new products will come into the market how the invention will go forward agar koi usko research karne nahi dega apne products pe then the invention will stop so the this this is an exception to the uh, the law like you can use it for study purposes you can study for the research purposes agar aap uh, students ko padhayenge nahi through the books through the lectures so how can the student learns about some technologies and they can do their own r and d work or they can implement that technologies uh, in the in, in their life right uh, something uh, i would say judicial when the when the some orders come from courts and the courts issue some something some some mandates that doesn't come from the, the, the copyright right then uh reporting the current events uh, somebody reporting the there are live reporters the news reporters that give the the live reporting of some events that does not come from the the, the copyright issues so uh, these are some of the exceptions uh, that does not fall under the copyright law although they are creations they are something uh, they are some uh, expression expressive ideas but they are they does not come under the the copyright privilege you cannot claim royalties or if somebody is infringing that term of copyright copyright carries a uh, the highest terms in intellectual property law uh, copyright uh, if you file a copyright you'll get get the copyright for 60 years from the death of the author suppose if you have created a photograph or if you have created a song आप पुराने वाले सॉन्ग हम आज भी सुनते हैं रिमिक्सिस होते हैं दे ऑल्सो गेट द रॉयल्टीज द प्रीवियस द म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर्स और क्रिएटर्स दे ऑल्सो गेट द रॉयल्टीज इफ इफ समबडी इज क्रिएटिंग द रीमिक्स आउट ऑफ दैट राइट सो द टर्म ऑफ द कॉपीराइट इज 60 इयर्स फ्रॉम द डेथ ऑफ द ऑथर ओके सो i'll give you uh, how the all the prod, all the types of intellectual properties covers in a product life cycle generally you start a product or some invention some r&d with the conceptualization or ideation aap idea sochte ho apne mind mein ki mujhe aisa karna hai i would develop that product then that's a very very good uh, time to file a utility patent a patent or design out so whenever you have an uh, conceptualization or ideation stage you have you have developed something aapko aapko wahan par ek patent file karne ki opportunity hoti hai you can apply for at that time then you go towards the the design and development so aapne ideation to bana li then you go for complete designing आप uh, उसको फुली डेवलप करोगे उसको मार्केट में लेने के लिए आप प्रोटोटाइपिंग करोगे इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड यू मे कम कम्स अप विद सम यूनिक डिजाइन सो एट दैट टाइम यू हैव यू कैन फाइल अ डिजाइन राइट देन यू प्रिपेयर आपका सब कुछ बन गया है यू आर रेडी फॉर द लॉन्च देन यू प्रिपेयर मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज योर कमर्शलाइजेशन स्ट्रैटेजीज यू प्रिपेयर सम पेपर्स आप उसके लिए कुछ बुकलेट्स बनाओगे समथिंग लाइक दैट यू क्रिएट समथिंग ऑफ दैट समथिंग डेटा क्रिएट करोगे सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी कवर्ड अंडर द ट्रेडमार्क इन द कॉपी सो ड्यूरिंग अ प्रोडक्ट लाइफ साइकल यू कैन हैव ऑल दीज इंटरलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टीज एट वेरियस स्टेज डिपेंडिंग ऑन वट स्टेज आर यू एट ऑफ यूर डेवलपमेंट राइट नाउ दीज आर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन डेट आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस डेट कम्स from from my experience of handling intellectual property over the 10 years time uh, generally these questions come to us uh, if two or more persons work together to make an invention to whom the patent will be applied agar kisi do bachcho ne kaam kiya hai do inventors ne kaam kiya hai who will own the invention so both of them will enjoy the equal rights of the invention if both of have both of them have some contribution to the invention 
बोथ ऑफ देम हैव इक्वल राइट्स जो राइट्स हमने पहले डिस्कस किए पैटेंट के दे हैव ऑल दीज राइट्स रिलेटेड राइट वेदर सेकेंड और थर्ड इन्वेंटर मेक्स अ स्मॉल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन द द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन द परसेंटेज ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन डज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन द राइट इफ समबडी इज नेम एज इन्वेंटर देन दे विल फुल राइट इफ एन एम्प्लॉय हैज इन्वेंटेड अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट हु विल ओन द राइट टू बी फैक्ट दिस इज अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट कैन लिख Uh, if the employee uh, invent something develop something which is which is by use of the employer's resources if you develop something in your college uh, doing r&d using the college resources then you have to look to your policy whether your policy says that you have to give that idea or rights of that idea to the uh, college or university so it depends on the policy in case of an employee employment it depends on the the contract they have and if the employee has invented something that is in the similar domain of the employer like employer koi manufacturing hai uh, furniture manufacturing mein hai ya koi product manufacturing mein agar इन्वेंशन सिमिलर प्रोडक्ट है तो देन द एम्प्लॉयर हैज ऑल दी राइट अदरवाइज अगर एम्प्लॉय मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में काम कर रहा है कंपनी में एंड ही इन्वेंटेड सम फर्नीचर ऑफ दैट सो दैट इज नॉट रिलेटेड सो एम्प्लॉय कैन क्लेम दैट आई हैव एंड यूज एनी रिसोर्सिस और मेरे अलग कैन आई डिस्कस डिटेल्स ऑफ माई इन्वेंशन विद अ पोटेंशियल इन्वेस्टर बिफोर फाइलिंग अ पैटेंट और डिस्कसिंग विद एनी before filing a patent so that comes under the public disclosure that one of the conditions we talked about uh, patents for getting a patent so if you disclose to anybody even to your parents even to your teachers that comes under the the public disclosures but if the parents or the teachers are related to one of the inventions and they will become the owners <coughs> or the rights of the invention will be transferred to the, these uh, these people uh, parents or teachers then only you get protected from the public otherwise public disclosure is public disclosure agar aap kisi ko bhi bata doge wo public disclosure ho jayega agar wo documented form mein aata if there is there a term international patent as i talked earlier In international, there is no term called international patent. All the IPs are jurisdiction based. If you have to file IP in that country where you want the protection, you have to go to that particular country for protection. आपको नहीं मिलेगा। अगर कोई नाम यहाँ पर इंडिया में यूज़ हो रहा है, वो इंडिया में यूज़ होगा। आप बाहर उसको यूज़ नहीं कर सकते without protection. आपको वहाँ जाके उसकी protection लेनी पड़ेगी if you want to enjoy the the exclusive rights. can i obtain a patent and keep my invention secret uh, that's a very uh, important question that inventor needs to answer kya main secret rakh lu ya patent rakh lu coca cola ne secret rakh liya tha apna formula for so many years uh, they haven't disclosed it to anybody except a couple of persons wo kya karte the wo jis bhi factory mein chahiye hota tha formula they comes physically uh, comes to that factory aur wahan par wo formula kar jata tha but uh, they kept it secret so if your invention is something like that that can be kept secret from anybody anybody cannot reverse engineering it or uh, usko implement karke usko uh, they can make out of that invention so there is no point keeping it as a secret it's better to file a patent on that and enjoy your rights enjoy the legal rights agar secret rakh sakte ho aap like coca cola did KFC एफ सी के पास भी एक सीक्रेट है दे हैव अ सीक्रेट ऑन द द स्पाइसिस दे यूज इन देयर प्रोडक्ट्स द इलेवन हर्ब स्पाइसिस सो इफ इफ यू कैन सीक्रेट योर इन्वेंशन देन यू कैन गेट यू शुड नॉट गेट फॉर अ पैटेंट यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर अ पैटेंट बट इन केस द इन्वेंशन कैन नॉट बी केप्ट सीक्रेट तो कभी भी लूज लूज आउट हो सकती है कोई भी कॉम्पिटिटर को रिवर्स इंजन भी कर सकता है then, you should go for a patent no 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 okay 
now this is a very good example in which all the patent uh, all the intellectual property can be obtained from one product this is a, a camera you can get a patent for every improved mechanism lens manufacturing koi button idhar laga diya kuch aur important software function kar liya so you can get a patent for that design the lens designs this button designs or overall shape of the camera can come under that design trademark the name fuji film or the name of a particular lens 10x zoom 100x zoom something like that that comes under the trademark copyright any instructions any manual booklet instruction booklet comes under the, the copyright or आपने वेबसाइट बनाई वेबसाइट के ऊपर कोई मटेरियल बनाया इवन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन कैन बी ए कॉपीराइट टू मी राइट अनदर एग्जांपल इज दिस शू नाइक शू लाइक वी टॉक अबाउट द नाइक लोगो ट्रेडमार्क में आ जाएगा देन द द डिजाइन ऑफ द शू कम्स अंडर द द डिजाइन प्रोटेक्शन then the patent the air trap patent the nitrogen trap patent on the sole comes under the patent nike has filed several patents for these kind of technologies then any kind of a content jo uska box hai box ke upar kuch likha hua hai something like that the designing of the box some use of specific colors on the box or any any content related to that marketing can come under the, the copyright issue. so one product can have all the ips okay uh, so this will be the last case study for this session uh, so this this inventor invented a bowl a lot of us has habit nowadays to watch your mobile while having your food so this inventor has developed a bowl in which he has uh, provided a place to hold your phone while while eating so whether this comes under the patent can we file patent for that or design for that the answer is yes you can file patent for that also you can file design for that both both protections are available to this image right okay so the here is one of one more example uh this man has very fond of the cars so he, he designed his uh, uh the office table in the shape of a car so can he file a design for that or a patent for that office table of car certainly yes he can apply uh design for this image then this uh, this uh, case study we talked earlier also the starbucks and starbucks which one is real so you have to find out ki which one is real which one is the uh, the main star box don't be fooled by the the similar logo similar color combination in logos okay thank you uh any questions i would like to answer there's so any questions you can put them in the chat box also anybody who has a question and we have a question in the chat box sir if a presentation has images or text from some other source can i have a copyright on the presentation yeah yeah so you you have the copyright of whatever you have created whatever text whatever uh, images you have added into your presentation in your materials you can have copyright on that you have exclusive right on that which is a copyright so uh, but like i said you cannot protect it or uh, you say that you cannot use it for the study purposes or the research purposes if you have created something you have a copyright so if you are using it for for sale और आप बोलोगे कि आई विल आई विल बी पेड फॉर गिविंग दैट कॉपी राइट और प्रेजेंटेशन टू समबडी इफ यू आर बीइंग पेड टू दैट देन यू आर फुली यू कैन क्लेम सम या देयर इज वन अनदर क्वेश्चन हाउ कैन अप्लाई फॉर पैटेंट सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर पैटेंट बाय 
giving the the papers to the government of india there is a patent office in delhi jurisdictions all of us uh, from the north side file our inventions uh, in the delhi patent office right you have to fill some certain kind of forms attached to that uh, they have the online options too uh, you can prepare your forms you, you can fill the data online and you can apply patents for that but it's better to take the the experts guidance on filing specifically patents but for trademarks because those are non technical form of ips you can uh, yourself go and file that but for patents if you don't know anything about the filing process then it's better to take a experts advice on that further for startups uh, the government is giving lot of incentives for patent filings or uh, any 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 kind of uh, ip filings for that matter so they provide uh, the uh, your money back uh, they will give you the advice on that some of some of us even i am on the uh, the patent office list who can provide advice to the startups and cannot charge anything from them so any kind of pro bono advice is free uh you can get in touch with any of the uh, uh the facilitators uh, they called us uh, on the patent office list and you can have in contact with them and file your put put your questions to them take whatever advice you want okay. then Uh, then there is a question on the Sipla versus uh, the buyer case. It is considered a landmark case in the IPR. Uh, Tanisha, can you just come out and explain me the the question? I cannot get the the questions uh, to to your comment. If it related to the the compulsory licensing issue. Tanisha, could you unmute here? and tell so what you want to exactly ask good afternoon good afternoon sir this was related to the compulsory compulsory license case mm -hmm. and i thought that uh, you know uh, at the end of the uh, decision supreme court delayed it and you know left it in the hands of the high court that what decision were taken by the high court they will be accept they those will be acceptable so how do you what's your take on that uh there are two or three issues to look at at this uh, since it's a very technical kind of an issue i would i would not like to discuss the the technicalities behind that the the medical science behind that but i'll talk about some of the the issues here uh firstly what is compulsory licensing compulsory licensing is something when you invent something and government takes out right compulsorily from you or in case of a covid situation like we had for 2 years now just imagine agar kisi ne vaccine ke upar patent le liya and government ne patent de diya hota and how much that would have cost to us in that scenario would you imagine ki hum sab ko vaccine mil pati ya mil pati to what will be the cost for that so in this case also uh the sipla ne uh, ek wo banaya tha cancer related ek drug banayi thi and that drug used to cost the treatment of treatment through that drug used to cost about 32 lakhs a year so uh, uh the other party comes uh, comes uh, file their contentions in the patent office and say that please issue the compulsory licensing to us because the cost of the treatment is too much we can give that uh, treatment in 8000 rupees per year so just imagine the difference one company is giving in 32 lakhs and other company is saying 8 uh, 8000 so i am just taking the the general figures that uh, relate to this case but the real issue is can the government allow that other company to take advantage of a patented product that's the question that the court needs to answer so there are some specific conditions provided in our law 
intellectual property law patents law wherein a compulsory licensing can be provided in that case the court court ne provide kar diya tha compulsory licensing ke liye because the treatment cost is so drastically reduced but you have to you have to take the the inventors point of view here is also in case of a pharmaceutical invention if they work on a 100 invention they are putting so much money into the r&d only the one invention will get some some royalty from that. so just imagine kitna paisa unko lagana padta hai just on the r&d purposes so definitely they want something out of that they want ki hum enjoy kare sare right if we have filed a patent if we have done r&d on that then at least 20 years ke liye to hame monopoly mile usko product ko karne ke liye so that's the thing that court needs to see ki inventor company ko wo advantage dena hai and what about the the other companies and on top of that they have to look at the uh the general public perception also so if that disease is something like covid covid aa gaya and somebody has some patent on dispenser soap dispenser or something like that so government ne ip waivers kar diye the if somebody has applied an ip for some covid related products so they don't have to pay the royalties to the inventor company to certain time period they can uh, put that put their products in the market basically so that's that's the the kind of a uh, the take that the court has taken the government has further there is a great lobby behind this the pharmaceutical inventions or other inventions jisme uh, the governments dusri uh, countries ki governments indian governments ko bolti hai that you have to remove this section compulsory licensing but the indian government says that our our law does not allow that if something happens to our population or covid aa gaya tha so your country's population is something in uh, uh, like say 20 lakhs or something like that so our population of our one state is more than that so we cannot afford the same kind of rules same kind of rules apply to the every so that's uh, that's the kind of a thing uh, you have to consider and the court has considered in this case uh, you have any follow up questions anish on that Okay. okay. I think she's good with the answer now. So uh, it's really been an interactive session, sir. And uh, the best was having such good examples. I mean, something that the children could relate to because we all know about these brands. And the best one was that uh, those which did not get themselves, uh, you know, protected with intellectual property. Those were some eye-opening examples. The fidget spinner and those. So you really gave an interactive session. Thank you so much, sir. And now I'll uh, hand over the mic to Dr. Manpreet for a formal word of thanks. Thank you, Disha, ma'am. Thank you, sir, for your valuable address. I'm sure our students have greatly benefited from today's session. The insights on intellectual property provided by sir will definitely be instrumental in inculcating research and innovation in our students. On behalf of IIC 4.0 and Neha Chand Mahajan DAV College, I extend a formal vote of thanks to our worthy speaker for today's session, Mr. Vineet. It was a pleasure to have you with us today, sir. I also take this opportunity to thank you, our worthy principal, ma'am, Dr. Nisha Bhargava, and Dr. Indu Arora, President IIC, for providing their guidance and support. Thank you, dear students, for being great participants and active learners. Thank you, sir, once again for giving valuable insights and sparing precious time of yours for us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, students. Thank you, ma'am, for inviting me. Uh, it, it it was it was a great pleasure for me also to interact with uh, all of you, especially respected teachers. And I hope students have learned something from me from my little knowledge that I have. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And uh, my email ID is with uh, 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 Japneet, ma'am. If right. anybody has that. any questions, then they can email.
Thank you so much. <laughs> Finally. एक छेत्री को कराया एक बारह कुछ पूरे छेत्री कमाल का बच्चा है हाँ